Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help me to keep making videos like this. And as you know from the title, today we are going to be doing a quick activation to come in contact with the higher self. What? And what that really means is that, well first, like the witches we are, and as you know, I'm not a traditional spiritual girl. I'll just start doing magic just like I am right now, drinking my tea. Mm -hmm. Just start snapping. Let's become aware of all of the little things that surround us and all of the things that maybe we don't need and just start expelling them. Mm -hmm. We can just expel that right on out. And you can do this through any way you want. You can, you can just do some weird stuff that really gets you into the body. And if you're embarrassed to do this kind of stuff, you might just want to click away because we're going to get fucking weird. So. The reason I'm doing this is because in my first activation I talked about the importance of kind of calling upon the Cosmic Mother, which is really just God, and really just the Anima Mundi, the all-encompassing experience. It is androgynous. It's it's that, right? And um, that thing is what we call upon as our source energy when you're working with me because it encompasses any level of God that you would like to see fit for yourself, whatever planetary being or whatever big white dude in the sky, daddy type figure, I don't care who your god is, just come in contact with your higher power there. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to say by the power of my higher self, of my higher power, I release anything that is not in my highest and best. All things that are not native to my highest and best path, envisionment, and propelling me forward into that must be gone now. And snap, snap, snap three times. Okay, so it is. So that's easy, right? And easy and simple. Whatever you believe, it is true. There is no questioning that. And if someone questions that, that's their problem, right? Okay, so let's get weird, right? Okay, we're going to come in contact with our higher self. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, it might be nice just to start feeling into the chakras, remembering that you're a human, that you have an ego, that you have a body, that you are somewhat like mortal, that you're soft and hard at the same time, rubbing down the body, just activating, oh yeah, right in the womb area, mm -hmm. tops of thighs, tapping the knees, getting rid of all that stagnicity, that jealousy, that pent-up sexual energy that isn't being properly expressed, just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and closing the eyes, coming in to a divine prayer to the self, looking inward at the heart, having a golden ray, just sparkling, beautiful, a whole spectrum of colors concealed within this golden ray that extends from the heavens down, down, down into the top of the head, touching the top of the head with your right hand, actively penetrating into the mind that is human from a soul-based place. You kind of move the head, remembering that you're fluid, remembering that nothing, 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 nothing is allowed into the sacred space if you say no, that any intrusive thought can just float away as soon as you see it. I don't identify with you. You can touch the third eye with the left index. I allow change. I allow the sacred wheel to turn gracefully. And then you can do a little bit of this, right, with the right hand, just kind of circulating. Okay, we're activating that higher self. Now you can bring it down. We're going counterclockwise up and down, stirring the pot, disrupting the order, destroying the structure that keeps us here, activating some sort of portal a trance, if you will, right? A trance. We're doing things that we don't normally get to do, kind of circulating the body in strange ways. A great serpent slithers through, opening up the gates, opening up the energetic portals all over the body, but mostly in the spine. It stops in the heart. Rock back and forth, top of the heart. And repeat after me, I call upon the great divine order that exists within myself. I abolish the hierarchy so that we may all sit together at an eye-to-eye -eye level. I ask that my higher self and my higher self only speaks to me during this. You can continue to tap up and down in the stomach and the womb, especially on the calves. However you're sitting, go ahead and just start activating those cells. The cells can hear you. Your cell's favorite sound, favorite vibration is the voice at a calm level. So continuing to whisper, you can even start to... 
open, 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 call the Kundalini up, open, open, and then allow the spine to become erect, allowing a purpley, red, crazy, white, right? All these energies, green, whatever the colors are, they're going down, they're literally trickling from the top of the head, down, 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 back of the skull, itch, 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 let it in, let it in, it. Uh, uh, uh. kind of, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Do some weird stuff, let the higher self in, it's coming in. So the reason we do this weird type of stuff, a lot of the kundalini exercises and warm-ups and yoga and all that stuff is kind of to prepare the body to hold this energy. And the truth is, there's no rules. No one can show you how to do this. We can really hold space for each other to do this. We can encourage each other. We can do all sorts of things. So that's why you'll see uh, a lot of times I kind of just take no accountability to structure when I lead these sorts of things is because I just know what's happening, right? I just know what's happening for you, for me right now. We're activating the higher self within our body by doing these things and with that sacred intention that, and when that thought comes in of like, well, am I actually doing this? You just say, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm doing this. This is, this is my intention and so it is, right? So it is and that's the power of the witches. There is no, you're not allowed to, it's just what you say. And that's the whole point of witchcraft is to give breath and bone and voice to that which has not had those things before. Whether it be the earth that you are protecting or a minority that needs, um, you know, your attention and for you to check your privilege and for you to actually be here for this experience in the body that you chose to incarnate into. Knowing that there is no fault and there is no good or bad, but there is just this and it all combines and morphs at the end of the day into one big anima mundi Saturnine experience and that's God, right? There is no... There really is no darker light when you really add it all together. It, it's really just neutral and it really has no color. And that's what white, right? Containing the full color spectrum that is available to us here on the earth plane. But then you go into the color spectrums that exist within blackness or within other colors that we don't know. And we realize there's so many other dimensions and there's so many other things and it can just be so overstimulating for our human mind and that's why we do weird stuff like this is because we condition ourselves through weird stuff like this to know to really know and in the moments where there is no structure we still have these simple intentions we still have this simple ability to say so it is and at the end of the day it's the most empowering thing for the god self to be able to do for you is to say what i say goes what i believe is and so it is right so it is so now your higher self is here with you so i want you to take a few deep breaths and three deep breaths. Hold it. Hold it. Lean it back. Mm -hmm. And now that this portal is open for you, you see two snakes, a black one and a white one, creating a DNA like dance up your spine in your sacral up it's everywhere it is you right mm -hmm. and i want you to say after me i call in the necessary clarity i call in the necessary clarity and grace and honor and humility and grace and honor and humility I call in the necessary clarity and grace and honor and humility to go forth as my higher self does. To go forth as my higher self does. Nothing stands in my way for everything is me and I accept all parts of me for I am everything. For I am everything and by that token i am allowed to dissipate and become nothing i become nothing and in that black space i am what remains and that is my truth and that is my truth i do not fear going into any realm for i exist in nothing in truth at the end of all, I exist in nothing but truth. At the end of all, I choose to decorate 
myself right now with intention, experience, behaviors, my magical ego works in my highest and best. Magical ego is what I look like and what I believe. It's what I say and what I see. It's the realm I chose to live in and be. I am everything around me. Anything that no longer serves me that I still am, I release into the realm of the unknown God. I release anything that I cannot handle that bothers me and that requires too much energy that is not serving me into the realm of the unknown God. And it sits there and it sits in the nothingness and in the space in between and it might go into the earth where things go to die and to transform into something else where energy may be recycled and you can bring your left hand down 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 very slowly into the earth let that shit go and in one breath you let it go and you can start to bring the right hand up very slowly and kind of allow this gold and rushing whatever whatever color energy to circulate through the body and extending the wings letting it all in and I really do encourage you after you do this, maybe just to sit with intention, to sit and see what the higher self has to say to you, what the higher self really looks like. And keep going with it, you know, and know that you can activate this higher self energy in any given moment. And it's the, it, that is sacred rebellion, is when you're sitting there supposed to be a human and all of a sudden you're like, higher self right okay well I release anything that no longer serves me and I call in all the stuff that does and I walk that higher path and I know that there are so many facets that are unknown I know that there are so many facets to myself that I have yet to get to know and I accept them before I even meet them and I release any of the ones that I just don't need right now it's so easy for me to do that right it's so easy to release anything that no longer serves me and it's so graceful too. I don't even have to fight for it. The people, places, and things that I don't have control over, they are just are something that I don't need to worry about. I don't delegate any energy or time to it. And when they arise, it's so easy for me to just keep walking and to find something that does serve me. And these old habits and all that shit that I used to do just goes away. I just don't need it. And the trauma, the trauma is arising to teach me because I am a wounded healer in this lifetime. Choosing to be a human is choosing to live and to die. And therefore I, ex I accept the full length, the full experience, the spectrum of this experience. And I know, I know, I know it's for my highest and best that nothing that has happened up until this point is not for my highest and best. I break any chains for my ancestors that I need to. I chose to come into this bloodline. I chose to be the one to make these impacts on humanity. I chose to have this experience. And that doesn't mean that there's things that seem unjust. That doesn't mean that there are going to be things that um, you know, that I don't like. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be happy because happiness is not what I came here for, but success, but victory, but to do the work that I came here to do and to have sovereignty in my soul, to be in the higher self's path. That is the most boldest thing that we can really do. And it is the most fulfilling thing that we will do, right? And that's the thing. I will, I will, I will, I will my higher self into me and then I will fulfill all of the things that she says to do and when I say these things I hope you know that you don't have to repeat them after me when I say them and you're listening to them that's the whole point of the activation like you know I don't know if you know but we're all these priests and priestesses we're all of these things that just flow and channel for each other and the things that we choose to share are gifts and know that every time you speak, it's a gift. And what kind of gifts do you give? Um, that just kind of came to me. And, and for me, um, I'm a high priestess. I know that I am the priest um, of the moon. I know that I am a channel for cosmic beings. I know that source is so in me all of the time. Um, and that I'm here to scare and to invoke and to make happy and to please and to praise and to be praised. and 
to have this experience of God. And so I make these little activations because I know that you're making these little activations and I want to express vocally and weirdly and wildly all of the things that I know exist with, within you. And so by sitting in this activation today, what you've done is you've downloaded everything I've said. And if there was something I said that for some reason you just didn't need, let that shit go. And then know that you're on your way and that you can do um, more of these activations because there's a self-compassion one coming up right after this. My weird little playlist is, we're two videos in, um, and I'm so happy that we got to share this time. The dogs are barking, so that must be, you know, something kind of divine. But, yeah, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you like this. Tell me your favorite ways to activate. Do you like the snapping? What do you like? You know, do you like the tapping? Oh, and get your journal out and write down what your higher self, what you know you came here to do. Like, what you know. Get your journal. Go, go, go. Get your journal. Get a piece of paper. Get a pen. Write it down. What do you know you came here to do? It could be a word. It could be a sentence. It could just be for tomorrow. It can be a to-do list today. What do you know you came here to do? What does it all boil down to? It might even boil down to a word, the Lima, right? Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm done being weird now. And I'll see you in the next video, so. Mwah.